Hi, we are going to look at confidence intervals for proportions. This is for the binomial um, P. So in this problem, we have a random sample of some dog owners, and they have a number of them that are allowed to, they allow their dog to sleep in their bed. Um, and the first thing we want to do is come up with the point estimate for the proportion of these dog owners that do allow uh, their dog to sleep in the bed. Um, making sure that our uh, proportion does match what is being asked. You remember being careful about that with the binomial. You have to be careful about that here as well. Um, and we're looking for p hat, which is our point estimate. And p hat is going to be the number who do meet this requirement. In this case, it's the number who allow their dog to sleep in their bed. So that is going to be 394, and that does match. That is the number that are allowed to sleep in the bed. Okay, so 394 over our sample size. And here we are looking at 521 dog owners that were surveyed, so that is our sample size. So that's our P hat. Good to go ahead and get that into decimal form. And this is um, 0.756. I went ahead and did three decimal places um, just to stay a little bit more accurate as we move forward, usually for proportions we like two or three, okay, to round nicely to your percentage. Uh, now we want a 95% confidence interval for P, and we needed P hat to do that, so it's good that we went ahead. Um, let me get that formula down for us, okay, um, and it is P hat minus D sub C. This is normally distributed. We learned that the binomial and the normal are very closely related. So the proportions of samples are also normally distributed. So we can use the normal distribution here. The standard deviation of, um, of this binomial is p hat times q hat divided by n. And take the square root of that. So very similar to other confidence interval formulas in that you're taking um, you're taking the point estimate, you're using a critical value z in this case, and then your standard deviation here. Okay, and we are estimating p, the true, pop the true proportion of the entire population. Of course, we don't have the entire population surveyed here. There's more than 521 dog owners, so we're using this sample to estimate the proportion of the population. Okay, same thing on this other side, but we use a plus sign. All right, so this is the formula we're plugging into, so we need all the pieces of it. We just found p hat, so we have that. I'm going to write it again right here. Um, Z sub C is from a 95% confidence interval, and if you use that um, normal distribution table, the little table in the bottom that tells you um, your critical values for confidence intervals, a confidence level of 95% has a Z sub C of 1.96. Okay. We also need our N, our, pop, our sample size. That's 521. And then we need Q hat. We know that P hat and Q hat are complements of each other, just like P and Q in a binomial are complements of each other. P is the probability of a success, Q is the probability of a failure. They should add together to be one. That's what complements do. They cover the sample space. Um, so to get Q hat, I just simply take one minus P hat. So one minus 0.756, and I get um, 0 0.244 for our Q hat. Okay, and then we just plug in our values and find our confidence interval. So P hat of 0.756, C sub C of 1.96, P hat again, Q hat. We divide by the square root of N.
that's a lot of numbers to write, so I'm going to make my life just a little bit easier and just change this to plus or minus because I'm subtracting it here, I'm adding it here. That's the only difference between this two. So I'm going to do this twice. I'm going to do it with the plus sign and I'm going to do it with this, the minus sign. Okay, just to save some space and some time in writing out this, this formula. Okay, if I do it with the minus sign, we'll do it first. It's our lower limit and it's 0.719. Okay, that's our lower limit done with the minus sign, 0.719. And then our upper limit, if we do this same thing, but then with a plus sign, we have it plus sign here, minus sign here. Our upper limit is 0.793. All right, so this is our confidence interval. Um, the population of all dog owners is going to be, that allow them to sleep in their beds, is going to be between um, 71.9% and 79.3%.